Gion. Yep. So here we are at breakfast with DJ Fausto. Good morning. Good morning. I mean, it's morning, <laughs> but it, that's all it is. <laughs> no, it's a good morning. So let people know where are we and why are we here. Uh, we are in Lund, Sweden, and uh, I've played uh, Electronic Massacre last night, and uh, I feel rough as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say. No, but it was it was a good night. We had we had fun. We had really really fun. It was a good crowd. We were really up for it. And uh, yeah, basically, um, you filled me up with tequila. <laughs> That's why I look like this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good. Whenever we talk to you, you're always very positive about the Swedish crowd. Oh man, listen, one thing's for sure, I love Swedish crowd. Uh, first of all, they're very dedicated when it comes to horror styled music. And um, yeah, it's always, they're always very friendly and uh, they're always very in the party mood. So to speak. So uh, yeah, I love to go. I, lo I love to come to Sweden every time. So and, and the Swedish crowd never disappointed me, to be honest. And it was a very intimate in venue. Yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't very big, but uh, it was uh, like you said. You know, very intimate. And uh, I had the feeling I was playing in an old farm, something like that. You know, and uh, everybody who was there was like into hard dance music you know and um, it's some it's, it's something different uh, than for playing for 20 or 30 40 thousand people you know on a big race you know and uh, I mean I love to do that don't get me wrong but I love the small parties as well you know especially because you're gonna you're having a lot of interaction with the, with the crowd and uh, you can, yeah it's, it's more like uh, you're having more of a, a personal touch to your gig, so I really I, I, I enjoy both. But uh, last night was a cracker of a party. I really did, I really did like it. Uh, well, I'm gonna t I'm gonna take something because uh, that's why it's there. Then I'm uh, then I feel a little healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very early in the morning, and your ride will be here in uh, less than half an hour. Twenty minutes. Where are you off to? Amsterdam, my hometown. I mean, as much as I love Sweden, always, always, have a, yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to go back, back to my my hometown. I don't know what it is, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm in this business for 25 years, and uh, yeah, it's I'm, I'm funny when it comes to that, you know. As soon as I, I'm, I'm as soon as I'm, yeah, stepping foot on my home ground, yeah, I feel home again. So, I'm, up, yeah, I'm up to Amsterdam. Do you play a lot at home? In Holland, mm, yeah, a lot of big, a lot of big raves. I'm doing Defcon this year, um, doing Dance Rally this year. Um, what else? Doing Fusion of Dance. Um, what else? I have so many things, <laughs> but I, but mainly I, I play more abroad than I play in Holland, basically. Do you know what stage you're playing at Defcon? Uh, yeah, I play on two different stages actually. I'm okay. playing on the white and I'm playing on the orange. One uh, hard dance, one hard style? Uh, no, white is more, uh, the, that's the, the club underground stage. That's going to be more the, the, yeah, the new, yeah, not new, but it's going to be more like a experiment, a experimental stage. You know, it's, uh, it's more a house, but with a harder twist. And more, yeah, it's more techno. I mean, something, something different. And I, I do like play. I do like to play all different styles, as you know. So, but yeah, it's uh, just going to be exciting and real exciting day for sure. So, your spectrum going from hard dance to hard style. Yeah. When did you fall into both being that guy? <laughs> Oh, actually, I've been like I said, I've been, I've been DJing for 25 years, and uh, yeah, I'm already used to playing all different styles. So it wasn't hard for me to pick pick a new style up, so to speak. You know, so um, and uh, yeah, but like I said, as long as the music is good, I will play it. <laughs> Still too early, people. <laughs> too too bloody early. 
So what are the perks between the different styles? The perks mm. between different styles. So, mm. so yeah. why would hard dance be more enjoyable to play? What does it bring that the hard style doesn't and vice versa? I can play at basically at any kind of stage. That are the perks. I mean, uh, for instance, when 2009, uh, 2009, 2008, mm -hmm. I've been played. Uh, I've been playing uh, a cessation black, uh, and uh, in say no, the year after I was playing trans energy, and I was still playing the same same sound. You know, so I mean, I can just uh, very easily because of hard dance in general. You know, because uh, a lot of people are confusing hard dance with hard style, and I think that's a, I think that's a major difference, a major difference. You know, because yeah, I mean, hard dance has all the influences of all the different styles in one genre, and hard style is basically a, uh, a lot the same. Or you have raw hard style, or you have like normal hard style, but. Basically, it's hard style, and with hard dance, you can start uh, from hard, yeah, the, the harder side of house towards the harder style, the harder side of anything, you know. So, and that makes the that makes hard dance one of the perks in my book. When you're not out playing or touring, you got two major projects. One being international house, no, yeah, <laughs> international hard dance sessions. Yeah, tell us about. It. Yeah, international hard dance sessions. I started this with uh, with Phil York, uh, like uh, AKA Bootek, uh, AKA Bootek, uh, three years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's one of the biggest success stories in in hard dance so far. You know, I mean, um, my new album is coming out in June. Yes, yeah, June. I'm gonna do this album together with Tilo and Avanti, mm -hmm. and uh, Phil York is gonna do another album. He's gonna do like uh, the, the British version of it, and uh, yeah, like I said, we've been touring international hard dance sessions almost everywhere in the world, and uh, it doesn't stop. I mean, even when, uh, even now, when hard dance is slowly taking a step back into the Dutch scene and into the UK scene everywhere in the rest of the world it's still very popular so I mean I couldn't be happier when it comes to international audience sessions and the other project being your weekly podcast oh uh, Faustus crossover yeah uh, yeah I love to do radio basically you know and uh, I've been doing radio actually actually from the beginning of my career I started I started being a, a, a radio DJ yeah, before I became a club DJ uh, I had a, a radio program called uh, the Groove Yard that was on a Wednesday night and uh, I was 17 18 back then you know uh, 1987 people <laughs> don't forget but for all you kids out there that's before the you internet became so popular so <laughs> it's broadcast radio <laughs> yeah I mean uh, we were uh, we were an illegal radio station but we were we were accepted we were accepted back in the day because yeah we were the only radio program uh, in Amsterdam who were who was uh, uh, broadcasting dance music and um, we were still playing from vinyls, and um, it was was yeah, it was good fun. It was really good fun. I did this together with DJ Dano, and yeah, he's he's a big hardcore DJ now. But uh, yeah, my radio show, Faustus Crossover, Q Dance Radio, every every Thursday night from, from eight to ten. I'm doing this together with uh, Artento, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's good fun. We have a, yeah, we have a lot of listeners. All over the world, and um, it's a uh, it's a challenge to have to have a different guest mix every week and different tunes every week. It's a big challenge, but um, yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Do you have to hunt down the guest mix, or sometimes, yeah, sometimes because I mean I'm I'm getting a lot of lot of guest mixes sent in, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty critical uh, in. Yeah, in picking the right mix for the right week, and uh, yeah, because if 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 I wouldn't be critical, then uh, the quality of the show was would be 
going down very fast. And uh, I'm already doing this now for, I think, two and a half, three years. No, three years almost, yeah, almost now. And like I said, it's uh, me and our tent, we're having uh, loads of fun every week. <laughs> I mean, sometimes the way he pronounces certain words in English is um, it's sometimes too funny. It's too funny. I remember once that he was saying something about uh, we, we, we that we sometimes still used vinyls. He was uh, and he was saying, yeah, I still use my vinyl table. And I was like, uh, you what? And he was like, my vinyl table. So I was like, it's turntable. What the? Okay, same. <laughs> and uh, but it's live. Sometimes it, you know it's 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 hard because you're doing live radio, mm. uh, so you can't you can't cut out stuff. So it's mm. it's uh, yeah, it's it's one of my biggest passions, definitely. Do you miss the touch of vinyl? Vinyl? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I do sometimes. I don't uh, I don't miss the the carrying of the record bags. <laughs> I mean, uh, that made me a really big man because I always had like two cases walking around with, uh, yeah, with all this weight. But um, yeah, because yesterday you had like three USB sticks. That's it. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I mean, you have to you have to progress with the time and with the technology that's it, that's at hand. You know, because if you, if you don't do that, then you're gonna make you then you're gonna make your life very hard. You know, but uh, but sometimes I do miss the vinyls. Yeah, because. Back in the day, it was uh, when you had your record back, your record box, and uh, I could recognize a tune just by looking at the cover, you know. And I went through all these tunes and was like, yeah, I don't know. It's the old school feeling still still does it for me, but I wouldn't change it for uh, for the new technology that we're having now using the USB stick because you can you can prepare your set a lot better and. Um, uh, the the possibilities are much much bigger, so cue like points and everything. Actually, actually, yeah, exactly. So, but still, you know, I mean, I love both. Basically. So, who hasn't done a guest mix that you're wanting to have a guest mix on the fastest crossover? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> um, yeah, there are so many good artists. I would still have, yeah, I would love to have in the show, but. Uh, these guys are yeah, just as busy as I am. So, uh, but who, who would I love to have a guest mix from? Uh, oh man, there, there, there are too many to too many to mention. I could I couldn't pick out a specific name. I mean, there are so many good artists uh, in the scene at the moment that um, I don't have a preference. I don't have a preference. Definitely, definitely not because. Like I said, everybody is bringing their own quality to the show, so mm, it wouldn't be fair for all the other artists if I would mention a certain name. I think that I think that's yeah. I think that's the best way to say it. Mm. Uh, you had a label release this week. Uh, oh, the a release on your label. Yeah, yeah, and, and the new album. Uh, the, the International Hard End Sessions, uh, the Italy uh, edition, mm -hmm. from Luca Antolini and Savio Ona and, uh, and Andrea Montorsi. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. I mean, these these two guys are the Italian hard trance masters, mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier with the with the release. Actually, I mean, I always uh, I had always a lot of respect for both of the artists because they were yeah, like brilliant producers and. Um, I'm really happy that they found the time to make this mix for International Hard End Sessions. So, and it's uh, it's really kicking off. You know, I mean, the, the the tracks they delivered for the album are yeah, just simply amazing. You know, you can yeah, you can check them on all big portals, uh, uh, iTunes, Big Port, whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, the only thing I can say is check it out. You know, <laughs> because it's one cracker of an album. So we're gonna wrap it up with. DJ Fausto, check out his Fausto's crossover on Q Dance Radio. You can find it at, on mm -hmm. iTunes and uh, SoundCloud. SoundCloud, yeah, and on the website of, uh, of Q Dance, obviously. That's www.q dance.nl. And all the luck in the future. Yeah, thank you very much, and I hope to see you really, really soon back here in Sweden. The Swedish people rock 100%. See you guys later. I'm gonna have more coffee. Oh fuck man, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't think anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we, we have to skip this question though. Yeah. Um, I'm sure, sorry, my, my brain is not working fully at the moment. <laughs> Jesus. 